Okay, geometry. Uh, hopefully you're doing okay. Uh, this is 10.7, the last section of the chapter. I can write and graph equations of circles. This is going to come into play again in Algebra 2 when you talk about conic sections, a little bit of pre-calc, and of course application to calculus. Circles, the formulas for circles, the circumference, the area, and the volume of a sphere actually come out in calculus. So here we go. This, these two look like the distance formula. The reason I haven't worked out is because I started the video earlier and realized it wasn't recording. So here we go. Um, the difference between 10 and 2 is 8 squared plus 15 squared. Take the square to that. So 64 plus 225. It's kind of hard to see that little plus sign. I'm not sure why. I can see it perfectly on my paper. Uh, equals the square 289 and that's plus or minus 17. So we're going to be dealing with the positive values. I do apologize if you can hear my dog barking in the background, but there's a leaf or a bag floating around because of all this wind. All right, second problem. The difference between negative 3 and 2 will be negative 5 quantity squared. We have negative 12 quantity squared. Square each one, you get 25, 144. Add them up, 169. The square root of that is plus or minus 13. Okay, uh, the next one. In a map, or I should say on a map, on a coordinate grid, uh, two towns are at the coordinates. Okay, so I'm just going to put like a little makeshift grid here. We have the point 2, 3. Two, three, and the point negative one, four. Okay. Um, if if each unit on the grid is one kilometer, what's the difference between the two towns? Okay, so those were talking about distance formula. Okay. The distance will be the square root of the change of x's. So I have negative one minus two quantity squared plus the change of y's, 4 minus 3, quantity squared. Okay, negative 1 minus 2 is a negative 3 squared, but we know that that negative is going to go away, plus 1 squared. Okay, so we have the square root of 9 plus 1, that's the square root of 10, that's the exact value. It's about 3 point something kilometers. Here we go, a circle. All right, this, let's look familiar kind of looks like, if I take the square root, it looks like the distance, doesn't it? Well, it does tell us uh, the distance of the radius. So here we go. This is the formula for a circle with the center hk. Notice if it says minus h, that means it's positive h. Minus k, positive k. So the signs will change is equal to r squared, and r is your radius. Now, if it's centered at the origin, meaning at 0, 0, the center would be, put a zero here, a zero here, what happens? You get x squared plus y squared. Okay, so this would be a circle of zero, zero, and it's only gonna change if the radius changes. So let x and y represent any point in a circle with the center at the origin, the radius r. Pythagorean theorem gives the equation. Look at this, x, y, r. So Pythagorean theorem, you have x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, where r is your radius. Pretty cool, huh? Didn't know where that was going, did you? Alrighty. Write an equation of a circle shown. Okay, so it's at the center, 0, and the radius is 4. So I'm going to write out the formula, always will, just until I know it by heart. The quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity x, sorry, y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Now our center is 0, 0. So I have x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals, and the radius is 4, 4 squared. So this is just going to be x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. There it is. Yay! Okay, next page. It's that easy. Now, and these problems we're actually going to be graphing, but what makes it interesting is <laughs> the graph paper is not to scale. I mean, if you look at it, it's not really square. So the grid is not square. So our circles might look like ovals, okay? Or the actual geometric term is called an ellipse. All right, so this is our center, remember? x minus h squared plus y minus k squared 
is equal to r squared. So the center is negative 2, 3. So watch this. It's going to be x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared. Notice that sign change, okay? Is equal to, the radius is 3.8. So 3.8 squared. Um, you could leave it like this. Uh, I'll just change it. x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to about 14.44. Alright, so what you're going to do is we're going to mark the circle, the center, at negative 2, 3. And we have to go up about 3.8. So 1, 2, 3, so right about there. Down about 3.8 over 3.8 and over 3.8 and then kind of make your circle looks like a football okay and remember our graph here is not square so let's do another the point 81 so um, is on a circle oh this is different okay the point 81 is on a circle with the center for two. Okay, so I'm going to draw the center over one, two, three, four, up two. There's our center. And then eight, negative one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is on our circle, okay? So that means, what is this? That is radius, okay? So remember, with our formula, x minus h squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. You need the center, which we have. So x minus 4 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to our r squared. Okay, this is what we need to find. Well, that's a distance, so just use the distance formula. So to find our radius, Take the square root of 8 minus 4 squared plus negative 1 minus 2 squared. You have 4 squared plus a negative 3 squared. 16 plus 9 is the square root of 25, which is 5. Remember, it's plus or minus, but we're only going to do it with the positive. So what do I put here? 5 squared. Pretty neat, huh? Or you can write 25, your choice. Um, now if I wanted to figure out what my circle looks like, this has to go up and down 5, left and right 5. So up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you can continue your circle from there. <laughs> okay, I think this is entertaining. Now, what if you have an equation? Could you graph it? Well, we have to dissect our um, center and radius. We've got to dissect our equation. So we have the center. Remember the signs change. Negative 1, 3. And the radius is going to equal 2. Okay, because remember that's, this is r squared, so r it's by itself will be 2. So negative 1, 1, 2, 3. And then from there, we want to go up 2, over 2, down 2, over 2. And draw your circle. Easy so far, right? Not too bad. Of course, there is more stuff you could do with this, but you'll do that in Algebra 2. Last problem. It's kind of cool. I'm going to use different colors for this one. You'll see why. Three forest ranger stations are at negative 3, 2. Okay, let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. That's A. 2, 2. That's B. And then negative 1, negative 1 and a half. 
Oop, went the wrong way. Let's see. A fire is two miles from A, three miles from um, B, and three and a half miles from C. Find the location of the fire by graphing. All right, so it's gotta be two miles, it's two miles from A. So I'm gonna draw a circle. So if it's two miles from A, it can be anywhere on that circle. And then it has to be um, three miles from B. So one, two, so anywhere on this circle, I think I already found it right there, but let's finish the problem. And then it has to be three and a half miles from C. Okay, so one, two, three and a half. One, two, three and a half. And then one, two, three and a half. Pretty interesting way to solve that problem, huh? Where is the fire? The fire is right here. So, they're using the idea of the definition of a circle that every point on the circle is equal distance from the radius. All right, there's our homework, there's our common standard, and we are done with chapter 10. Pretty excited about that, aren't you? Have a nice evening.